Welcome to Put Health on Your Agenda. This is the Mojave County Department of Public Health Tobacco Use and Chronic Disease Prevention Program and I'm Carol Smith-Carter, a Community Health Education Specialist. Today's topic is Fitness 101. We're going to talk about physical activity for children and adults. Physical activity is an essential component of healthy living. Today's topics will include what is physical activity, the President's Council on Fitness Guidelines, and types and amounts of physical activity for all ages. Physical activity, also known as PA, is defined as any form of exercise or movement of the body that uses energy. PA can range from routine chores such as housework, walking the dog, gardening, to daily exercise routines. PA is critical for overall health at every age. The major types of PA include aerobics, muscle building, and bone strengthening activities. Aerobic activity is a variety of routine exercises that stimulate and strengthen our heart and lungs, which improves our use of oxygen. Aerobics are considered long duration activities that can be moderate or vigorous intensity. Moderate examples include walking, golfing, biking slowly, general gardening, using a manual wheelchair, ballroom dancing, and some yoga. Vigorous examples include jumping rope, basketball, swimming laps, and Zumba. To determine the difference between moderate and vigorous activity, do a talk test. During moderate activity, you can talk, but during vigorous activity, you can only say a few words before running out of breath. Let's take a look at the pictures on the right of the slide. The first picture shows a young woman jogging or running down a path. This would be considered vigorous intensity aerobics. Then right below her is a man and a woman walking down a path. This would be considered moderate intensity aerobics. Muscle strengthening activities prevent muscle loss, build lean muscle mass, improve posture, metabolic rate, balance, and can be a good stress reliever. Muscle strengthening activities work our major muscle groups which are legs, hips, back, chest, stomach, shoulders, and arms. Examples include lifting weights, push-ups, sit-ups, resistance bands, and Pilates. If you don't have weights, try using water bottles, soup cans, etc. But please be sure that you can get a good grip around the object if you're going to replace weights using the object. Bone strengthening activities promote bone growth and strength. They are especially important for children to promote healthy bone growth and for seniors to help slow and prevent bone loss. Bone strengthening force is commonly produced by impact with the ground. Some of these activities can also be considered aerobic and muscle strengthening. Examples include running, jumping rope, basketball, zumba, tennis, hopscotch. Note the crossover with vigorous aerobic activity in some of these such as jumping rope. So how much and how often should we be physically active? Children ages 6 to 17 need to be active at least 60 minutes per day or 12,000 steps. Most of the 60 minutes should be aerobic activity at moderate or vigorous intensity. Vigorous activities should be included a minimum of 3 days per week. Also muscle and bone strengthening activities should be included a minimum of 3 days per week. Remember. Some aerobic activities are also considered bone strengthening, such as jumping rope and running. Adults age 18 to 64 should be physically active for at least 30 minutes per day. Go for 10,000 steps and get moving. Moderate aerobic activity for a minimum of 2.5 hours or 150 minutes weekly. Aerobic activity must be done at a minimal of 10 minute intervals for optimal health benefits. Strengthening activities should be done at least twice weekly at 10 to 20 minute intervals or longer for optimal health benefits. So if all of this seems like a lot to track and monitor, 
make it easy for yourself and your family and buy some pedometers. You can track your steps. They're very motivational and fun and very helpful. Physical activity benefits all ages. Children and adolescents, PA can improve their muscular fitness, bone, and heart health. Adults, PA can lower the risk for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer. Older adults, PA can lower the risk of falls and improve cognitive functioning such as judgment and learning. Here are some PA guideline notes. If you have current health problems, it will affect your PA guidelines, so always consult with your health care provider first. If you haven't been active in a while, start slow and build up to a daily routine of physical activity, which is generally safe for anyone. If you are pregnant or have a chronic condition, please consult with your health care provider before starting a routine PA program. Here are some helpful links to learn more about physical activity and fitness. Fitness.gov, PresidentsChallenge.org, LessMove.gov, NIH.gov slash we can. NIH stands for National Institute of Health, SeniorHealth.gov, and GoForHealth.gov. Thank you for joining us. I hope this was a helpful health education experience for you. Please put health on your agenda. Get active and eat a healthy diet. This is a Mojave County Department of Public Health production and have a great day.